Hello everyone, Rat here from Rat Kutarot and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for September 10th to September 16th 2018 <coughs> so while I do the shuffling here uh, again if you are interested in a personal reading with me uh, you can find my website, web, web, website written down below in the description of this video and in there you can find the list of all of my services and as well you can save um, $22 by purchasing the uh, 30 minute service because it becomes automatically a, a 40 minute one <clears throat> so that being said let's go to the uh, tarot spread first and we have four four positions right now the first position will uh, display the topic for Aries for the week followed by the core of the situation that regards to Aries then we do have the challenges that Aries have to tackle with for the duration of that week and the last one here uh, is regarding to the guidance <clears throat> or what will be the most beneficial way Aries to cope with the week itself. So the first card point to the strength that is the strength card, a very broad one. So this week is not going to be specifically about your career or specifically about your relationship, but it's going it's going to be about the overall um, grand scheme of things. When we talk about um, <clears throat> the strength card uh, this week will be rather very exciting because the strength card regards to our inner um, inner thrill, should I say that way, for the lack of better of better term, uh, to jump into specific activities. And these activities again could regard to either our relationship or either our career, or it could regard it regard as well for both you know it could be that you like someone into your uh, into your working place and that's why you find yourself thrilled you know to go to you know, to go to uh, your working place you know to do your job so you're going to spend time with that person but in generally <clears throat> this card points that that week is going to be a very calm one as well because the strength card is about again uh, also a perseverance through patience and also a, a week in which you are going to present yourself very, very, very confident. So, uh, <clears throat> just so we can put a um, practical meaning of uh, this card for uh, the topic of your week, it does seem that um, for the duration of this week, you are going to, how can I place it, you are going to mark targets should I say that way, being very patient and very thrilled, having those targets, those queries uh, at your list and you're going to pray those queries and under praying I don't mean that you are going to stalk them or uh, you're going to kind of take any um, evil actions, should I say that way, but more like uh, creating rather plan or waiting for the right moment to come etc etc so you can make so you can make your move so in general that is going to be a week of um, consolidation is um, is the word that I was searching for in which um, in which consolidation you will kind of find yourself much stronger going further into the future and the core of the situation here that will be the uh, king of pentacles and that could be either a person or it could be a on an event but i do believe that for you uh, that will be a person here <clears throat> playing its role uh, into your week and when we talk about the uh, the king of pentacles I do believe that this is about either a, a team uh, a, you know a, a team that you have formed with that guy or a girl or it is someone who invested into you and that's why now you kind of feel yourself thrilled and free, free deliberated you know to mark additional targets to pray them and to eventually you know seize your um, seize your reward out of them now when we talk about the king of pentacles <clears throat> 
that card refers to consolidation furthermore it refers to a uh, kind of securing um, the current progress that we have done so far so when we um, so when we chase the additional queries that we have uh, inserted into our list we don't lose anything that we have developed thus far from the exterior uh, from the exterior undertakings and that will happen again um, through uh, through the help of a, a faithful companion, friend, or a business partner, it could be as well uh, someone of the parents of your boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know, which are vouching for the relationship and trying to stabilize it, etc., etc. But the the thing with the King of Pentacles is that this card is a clear sign that now you Aries is kind of like uh, reached a milestone from which uh, it does look like that a, a new goals can be set and a new goals can be deliberated so you can proceed further you know with a, a further development which will happen again through patience it, it is very important that you seize the right moment here to kind of incorporate your actions when it comes to uh, when it comes to to that you have found your next um, your next aim and then the next card it regards to the challenges that you have to overcome here we do have the six of wands and that is a the sense of trust when it, when it comes to that card and we have a um, and we have it into a negative position it could mean a couple of things it could mean either ego but I don't believe that it is about ego because we do have the strength card here as the topic of the week and the strength card as a topic immediately uh, kind of vaporizes the ego property of the um, of the six of wands so I do believe it's about trust when it comes to the six of wands and uh, this card asks you to, to trust the healthy sense of mistrust and uh, do not believe into everything that you hear when um, when people talk to you or when people uncover certain strategies or plans especially when it comes to uh, when it comes to career now when it comes to relationships um, this card manifests into having a, a, a peak experience the way you want it so even though uh, let's say you execute a certain plan that you do have for your relationship and you have anticipated to be a, a great experience for your behalf, even if your partner experiences it very, uh, uh, very joyful, you know, you may kind of be disappointed of the experience itself, and that is going to be the struggle here. This is going to be the predicament that you have to tackle with the. Uh, personal disappointment of the experience, not of your partner, not of your relationship, but of the experience because you had higher expectations for what that experience will uh, ignite into you as a, a passion and as a, um, as a, a joy. And the last card here that we do have is the guidance now how you should go forward or how you should tackle with um, with this particular week the best possible way and again it's about seizing the opportunity we have the the, uh, the king of salt which is the one who always has the accurate diagnosis upon the situation that one finds itself therefore when we have the king of swords into that particular um, position and then the topic is about patience or seizing the right moment here before you make a certain action, you have to always be um, completely aware of the every single piece of information you require regarding that situation. Just a few examples. You do have a person of interest. Well, you have to know everything about that person of interest before you jump into making any actions, you know, to um, kind of like make your hit, should I say that way, or make your move. Um, <clears throat> And that is continuously uh, strengthen, strengthened here by the uh, King of Pentacles, saying that you re that you need to reach a, a particular milestone. All right, but when it comes to again to the King of Swords, it's very important that you also play with your words. You need to tell only that what people need to uh, need to know, and you should not reveal the whole truth every time that you have been. Uh, that you have been confronted because the truth may, may be wider and uh, uh, wider than the people comprehensive mind 
just for example, you know, I, if just giving you an example here, if uh, things since your relationship aren't going very well, you know, and this is all about uh, making up with that relationship, consolidating it back, reconciling it back, uh, and you know, a friend of your of yours asks you know what is going on, you can tell the reason, but they don't need to know details here. So you say just that part of the truth that people need to know. The whole truth doesn't need to be revealed to everybody. That's the that's the thing with the King of Swords. And also when it comes to the King of Swords, it is very important that you um, take advantage of your um, exceptionally well uh, developed communicational skills. So this is about uh, the tarot cards uh, for your week, Aries. Now let me see what uh, let's see what uh, the Lenormand has to say. That will be about in an event that you should either look forward to or try to uh, try to avoid <clears throat> in uh, in this particular week, September 10th to September 16th. All right, so. Let's cut them through. And the first one that will be the bird, which is gossips or social media phone call. This is for, for what kind of keywords that card stands for. Then we do have the, uh, the heart that is either love, commitment, union. And then we do have the coffin, which is an ending basically stands only for a an ending completion so uh, that will be either a gossip about a, a union coming to an end or is going to be a, a phone call you're going to have about an ending of an union hopefully not yours <clears throat> and from where uh, you can basically you cannot avoid that particular event you know but it will be good if you kind of prepare yourself for it and don't freak out that may not be your ending okay that could be your very best friend calling you crying saying that they have broke up with uh, with their boyfriend or a girlfriend you know or it could be someone completely irrelevant for example again your your best friend called you and is calling you and saying oh my god did you hear that whoever you know broke up with uh, with their girlfriend or a boyfriend or it could be someone calling you telling you that a celebrity is broke up with another celebrity you know you, you can't kind of predict the specifics around the events but it is a about a phone call or a gossip about ending of a love commitment or a, a partnership that we do have you will come to be uh, aware it will come to your awareness for the duration of this week. So Aries, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading. It's kind of like a broad one. I could say it's a little bit of a vague, but this is what the cards point and um, it's kind of like, you know, a general reading. So I hope that you can make uh, sense of it and you can align it to your own personal situation. Again, this isn't your personal reading. So it is up to you to align it and to make sense of it. Because I'm not Aries, I don't have anything into Aries, and I can't make any sense of it regarding my personal, uh, you know, my personal life. So yeah, again, that being said, that was your uh, weekly tarot reading. And again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, everything that you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.